Looking, looking long. Throws to the end zone. And the ball is caught. Looking to the end zone for the win. He caught it. Ball game. Good protection. End zone. Touchdown. What a start. Step. Dials up. Deep ball. Oh, what a catch. One man. What's going on guys? Hostile Beast here, back again with another Red Trouble episode. And today, we have the game we've been waiting for since the start of this season. We have the Red Trouble Championship game, the Red Trouble Finals, whatever you want to call it. This is what we've worked towards the entire season. We take on the undefeated 17-0 Green Bay Packers in the championship game. Here is our team, Darnell Mullins at quarterback. He has one job. Don't be stupid. That's my one rule for this game. Make smart plays. Don't be dumb. Jesse James, the running back, had a phenomenal game last game. His legs carried us to the championship, so let's hope he keeps it up today. We got Carter Clemens at tight end. Solid. We got Peep, our stud receiver, MVP, Peep, the best player on our team. He is going to show up today. He always does in the championship as well as McNeil. McNeil has not flopped under the stress of the playoffs, and I think that will continue today in the championship game. As far as the defense goes, they were not the best last game, but we're finally fully healthy for the first time this entire postseason. Joel DeGuara is back, so our defense is healthy just in time for the championship. And Mabane, this game very well could come down to Mabane's leg. I know he's clutch, I know he can hit, I'm not worried about him. One last look at our team. As I, as I say this, I realize this very well could be the last ever game that we play with this group of guys, regardless of whether we're here next year. So one last look at this team, this family. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get emotional, but one last look at the boys. And now let's go. Los Angeles Chargers, as I said, 10 and 7. Finally, five-star offense, five-star defense. We are back. The Packers, five stars on both sides of the ball as well. 17-0 regular season, 2-0 postseason. This is the championship. This team is here for a reason. And they also show that they absolutely have what it takes to win this game. We've played in the finals before. The last two years is our third straight championship appearance. And this gives us the chance to avenge our loss last season and potentially end my career in Los Angeles on a good note. I'm gonna stop talking. You know the drill. We got a game to win and a season to finish. Let's go. We're gonna kick off first to begin the game against the Green Bay Packers. Their offense on the field. Our fully healthy defense on the field, let's see. Can they make a stop? DeGuara wasn't strong enough. They're going to hand it off in the red zone. DeGuara misses a tackle, and they're going to score. So, Joel DeGuara in his first game back, not playing the best. And just like that, we're down seven. It's our ball. We need to make a statement. We have got to march down this field and score. First play of this game, I like that throw to McNeil. Let's do it. Let's see it. Can we start off the championship with a dime to McNeil? We do. What a throw. 27 yards, and that takes us to midfield. Now we'll hand it off to Jesse James. He will get nowhere. He loses one. Second and 11. Peep up top. I like Peep. He's the MVP this season. We throw it up to him. Triple coverage. He's caught it. What a ball and what a catch by Peep. Now we got to keep the momentum going. Hand it off to James. James, get free. He has a stiff arm and James still going. Has a first down. First and 10. James again. James break outside. He gets another stiff arm and four. I know we can't be super picky with this, but I want everyone to get a touchdown. I would like Peep, McNeil, Clemens, and James to all have a touchdown. So if that's possible, let's do it. Here's Peep. Can he get his first? It's an easy one. He's got six. He's pulled down. First and goal. Another hitch route. I like that. Throw it up top to Peep. He's got the catch, and he's in for a touchdown. Ziggy Peep putting us on the board. And now the extra point right here is up and good. My Bane has never missed an extra point, and that remains true today. Tied at seven. Let's see it, defense. We need to stop. Ren was too slow. What are we doing? Incomplete. There we go. They're going to go for a 44-yard field goal. They make it. They take a 10-7 lead, but this gives us a chance to take the lead on this possession. Easy touchback right here. Now a handoff to Jesse James. James gets free outside, has five. Now we throw it to Carter Clemens. Get him involved. Carter Clemens over the middle. No, we're sacked. Third and 11. 
What do we do here? Maybe look for Clemens or Peep on the hitch. They're not open. Mullins has to scramble. No, he throws it away instead. And that brings up fourth down. We're only down by three. We're way back in the field. It's 11 yards to go. We have to punt it away. I don't like punting, but there we go. Jaguara sacks the quarterback, and they punt it right back to us. That was a smart move. Our defense came through. Now here we go again on the ground. Ease back into it. Drive down. No, James, what are you doing? Okay, we're going to throw this ball. Peep. Oh, this is a risky throw right here. Do we do it? We air it out to Peep down the field. He's got another great catch. 22 yards. There's defenders on him, and he still catches the ball. There's James. Stutter step move. He does get free for two. Second and eight, Clemens, the tight end out route to give us a first down. Where he's hit as he throws, but he connects and there's no one on Clemens. He's weaving through defenders as well for 16 yards. Great play right there. There we go. There's McNeil up top. Can we launch this one to McNeil? It is caught in the end zone for the touchdown. We take a lead on that play and the extra point makes it 14 to 10. Up by four against Green Bay. Can they handle being down in a big game like this? DeGuara missed a tackle. Okay, they're, they're moving pretty well at this point, but let's see a defense. A stop here would be huge. Sweat wasn't strong enough. Landrum was too slow, and they are going to score. We received the kick with a minute left. We're not going to get a touchback, so we got to run this clock down and score at the last second. 51 seconds left. Quick pass right here. Carter Clemens. He does not catch it. Incomplete over the head of Clemens. That is not a good play. Hand it off to James. James gets free. He breaks tackles for seven. Carter Clemens over the middle on third down. Has a catch and a first down. Runs over a defender. 15 yards. Clock is running, though. Got to be smart about the clock. Okay, throw it up. Throw it to McNeil. Don't throw a pick, but throw it up to McNeil. Over the middle. McNeil is open. He's got a catch and 30 yards. Call a timeout. 14 seconds left. First down. Go for it. Find Peep. Launch this ball. Throw this one deep to Peep. It is intercepted in the end zone. Too many defenders there. They knew where that ball was going. And that's going to end the first half. Here's your Retro Bowl Championship halftime report. The Packers lead the Chargers 17 to 14 after a close first half. Let's take a look at some of the stats. With both teams over 200 yards of total offense, this has been an exciting first half. Two touchdowns to each team, and Green Bay is separated only by a field goal. If we flip over to the defensive side, you can see no turnovers for the Chargers and one on the side of the Packers. Overall, it's been a close game. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. On the opening drive of the game, Jordan Love takes the Packers downfield to set up a 22-yard Aaron Jones rushing touchdown. The Chargers answer back with wide receiver Ziggy Peep catching a four-yard touchdown pass from Mullins. Following a Green Bay field goal, the Chargers drive downfield again, and Mullins throws a bomb to wide receiver Natain McNeil, who's able to jump up and make the grab. Taking some inspiration from the last score, the Packers drive downfield and do the same thing to wide receiver Christian Watson. With the score at 17-14, the Chargers have a minute left to drive downfield, and just when it seems they're going to score again, Mullins throws a pick. Dyer Alexander intercepts that ball, and that would end the half. Green Bay up by three. Now let's go back to the center of the field where your Retro Bowl halftime show will be presented by... Wait, I'm getting word that there will be no halftime show. Taylor Swift, while scheduled, just now learned that the Chiefs did not make the playoffs and she will not be in attendance. So, halftime show is canceled. Let's get back to the game. We're down 17-14 to 14 to Green Bay, but we received the kick to begin the second half of this Retro Bowl. And as I say this, I realize this is most likely my last half on this team with this franchise. A lot is uncertain about next year, but I just don't know if I'm going to come back. So we do need to make this a good half. So when we walk off this field, we walk off with no regrets. There's McNeil. Does not catch it. He drops it. After that speech, seriously, he drops a pass. Second and 10. Here's James. James can't get through. What is happening? Third and 10, McNeil on a slant. Peep is a comeback route. They're not getting open. There's Peep. He's got a catch. But nine yards, he stopped. Shy of the first down. It's fourth and one. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it on fourth down. I know it's in Green Bay's half of the field. We're going to give it to James. Through the middle. He, did he get there? Give me the first down, please. Did he get there? No, we turn it over. James cannot get through. And we turn the ball over to the Packers. Sweat missed the tackle. What are we doing, defense? Make a stop. Ren wasn't strong enough, and they're going to score. 24 to 14. We are down by 10 points in the third quarter. This is not looking good. Need a touchback here. Got to throw this ball. Got to throw this ball up. 
McNeil, please, somebody open up. McNeil is open over the middle. That's a good throw. It's a great run. He's got 28. McNeil again. He's getting a lot of yards this game. Post route. McNeil is there. No, we're sacked. Takes us across the 50, handed off to James, gets some yards back. James is pulled down. This is not good. This is seriously not good. Third and 16, and they're sending a blitz. I like the pass to McNeil. Can he get open? There's a lot of defenders there, but McNeil has a catch and a first down. Move those chains. McNeil again or Clemens. Someone open up. There's McNeil. Heavy pressure there. That ball's caught. He's got 18. McNeil is going to have 200 yards this game. There's Peep on the hitch. I like that ball right there. He is wide open. Look at him cut in the middle of the field. Peep's still going, and he's brought down. Three yards shy of the end zone. Here we go. Hand to James. Give James a touchdown. He is in for the three-yard touchdown run. You guys know the drill. We got to go for two here. I have to do this just in case. Don't like this play a ton. I like the look to Clemens. I think we might go with that. Let's find Clemens. No, McNeil's up top. He, it's tipped. No, intercepted. We don't get the two. We need the defense. This is bad. We do need the defense here. Come on, guys. Butler wasn't strong enough. There's still plenty of time in this game, but a stop here or a field goal would be huge. Wren wasn't strong enough. They're going to throw it, and they score. They make the extra point. We're down 20-31 near the end of the third quarter. There goes Butler on the return. Dive. There we go. Stop the clock with one. We get a playoff. This is smart. Have to manage that clock. Call an audible. Clemens over the middle. He will be open eventually. I believe in him. Throw that one deep. That throw incomplete. We are lucky that was not a pick. There was literally six defenders there. Now what do we do? The time is running out on this game and on our season. There's Peep. Peep out of bounds for 10. First down. McNeil, McNeil on the post. Throw this one or hit as he throws. That one's caught, 19 yards, nearly picked as well. We're playing very risky, but it is paying off. Here we go. Here's James down the sideline for four. Can't get out of bounds. At the 30, I see Clemens. I want that throw to Clemens. That throw is risky, but it's a catch. And Clemens has 24. What a play right there. Need a touchdown right here. We need Clemens. I want Clemens. He's there and he's in for a touchdown. Everyone's got their touchdown. I'm happy with that. Now we go for two. This is a big play. This is a huge play. Go to Clemens. Clemens in the back of the end zone is open. He's got the two. We're down three. 31 to 28. Two minutes in this game. We need the defense to stop them. Incomplete. They do it. They punt it back to us. We're not going to chew this clock. I do not trust this defense one bit. We need to just score as fast as we can. Get to the sideline. That's fine. I want us to score. I want them to score. And then we have a chance at a game-winning drive. That's fine. That's a good throw. That's a perfect throw. 21 on that play. Do we look for Clemens? No. We're going to go to Peep. Peep is open on the outside. He cuts back in, making defenders miss. He's got 19. Touchdown right here. We need it. Is that Peep? No, it's Clemens. His second of the day. 34-31. We're up by three. We kick the extra points. A minute left in this game. It's good. We lead 35-31 to 31 against Green Bay. The season may come down to our defense. Come on. Let's see it. Short of the first down. They have to go for it. Defense. Defense, please. DeGuara makes a tackle. And we take over with 28 to go. Run this clock out. Reality setting in for this Green Bay team. And with the final snaps of this game, would you have guessed that the seven seed wild card would go to the championship and would take down the undefeated Packers in that game. And there is Peep for 25 yards and a touchdown to seal this game. Extra point of formality, four seconds left. And how about that? And what could be our final game with the Chargers? We win the Retro Bowl. Dewan Butler was named the Retro Bowl MVP for whatever reason and 42-31 is the final score but what a close game look at that we outscored them 22 to 0 in the fourth quarter what a storybook ending for this team to go on the playoff run to defeat everyone on the road and then as i said to play the 19-0 packers in the championship and to win is a perfect ending to this season darnell mullins arguably his best game all year and he did it when it mattered most Everyone had a touchdown. That makes me happy. Everybody got to eat this game. And the defense, I mean, they let up a lot of points. I I'll be real with you. I don't know how Butler won MVP. Jawil DeGuara is the one with the sack and all the tackles. Butler didn't even have like a turnover. But maybe he made some good plays on special teams. I don't even know. He had a good kick return, I guess. But what a game to close this season out. And we won, man. We won. This feels good to see this screen. Because I know what it's like to play in this game and to lose. And it is not fun. A fan poll rated performances of your team 
for the season. Offense was pretty much all incredible, except McNeil was great, but I mean, he was pretty good too. Our defense did pretty well, it looks like. And now, okay, if we get the awards, all right, the MVP for this season should be on our team. I could see it being Darnell Mullins. I could also see it being Ziggy Peep. Now, I'm not trying to get my hopes up because it's a QB award, we know this. So I think your MVP is gonna be Mullins, let's see. Wait, no way, no way. Did we actually not win anything? There's no way. I guess we did not win any awards, but you know what? We got the award that matters most. We are the Retro Bowl champions yet again. Two rings in four years with this team is pretty good. And I don't know what the future is going to look like, but I'm glad that no matter what happens next year, we can say that we won it again with this team. Here they are with their two rings. How about that? What a way to close out this chapter of this Retro Bowl series. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below if I should switch teams next season and what your thoughts on this season and this game are. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.